today I'd like to show you a kind of a neat little project to make. It's a very quick and simple thing to make. And it's a, a, a turned door stopper. I uh, first saw this project in a video by Alan Lacer. I don't remember which one of them. I, I have three of his videos and they're all excellent by the way. But you start out with uh, virtually any kind of wood. This is a block of red alder and it's a uh, inch and a half square and it's about uh, about nine inches long. Um, one thing about preparing the block is you do want to try to get these as square as you can, as, as close to being a perfect square on the end as you can and then also you want to be sure that your center mark is uh, as accurate as you can make it. I've already uh, marked and uh, punched the, the center mark and so it's all set to be mounted on the lathe at this point. So I'll just put the one end into my drive center and bring up the tail stock. Crank that into the hole. And spin it a little bit to get it seated just right. Tighten it up. And we have to make some marks on the, the blank tube to guide us uh, because we'll be cutting a pummel uh, at one point and then bringing the ends down to round and then uh, doing some design work on the end pieces. But that's the reason that we want the block square and centered so that that pummel, when we cut it, will actually be centered and uh, look uniform and nice on the end. So I usually give myself about three eighths on each end to uh, part off with and then um, I'll make the length of the handle about two inches long so I'll mark that and then I'll give myself a quarter inch for the pummel and then draw my lines on it at those marks. You just have to uh, draw your lines on one of the surfaces. You'll be able to see it just fine uh, as the lathe is turning. There's no need to draw them clear all the way around. And then I'll do the same on the other side. Mark a 3 8 and then a 2 inch. And then another three eighths. Or the last one's supposed to have been a quarter. Sorry about that. Draw my lines. So the center part will be our uh, tapered area uh, that the uh, doorstop will slide under, under the door with and then the pummel will be here and then these these will be the handles as uh, we turn them down and shape them. Okay now I'll bring the tail stock up and get that as close as I can to the workpiece and parallel it to the piece as well. And the first thing we'll do is I'll turn the ends down um, below where they'll below where the where the piece is round so that uh, that's out of my way and then also that will give me room to part this off uh, when the time comes. I'm going to be using pretty much just uh, three or four tools for this uh, to do the rounding down on the ends. I'm going to use a banana tool. And then um, I'll be doing some of the shaping with a skew, uh, some of the shaping with a quarter inch spindle gouge, and uh, oftentimes I'll also use a 3 8 inch spindle gouge uh, to do some of the shaping. So I have all those ready to go. And I'll start out by turning these ends down. And I'll set my speed about 
1500 thereabouts. First thing to do is to, with a skew, make a little mark on the line. both ends. So the wood doesn't split out on me. below uh, the full round. I'm going to take it down a little further yet. Just so it's out of my way when I start turning. 